Hello guys, James here and welcome back to my 12th episode in my Road to Glory on FIFA 14 on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, in today's episode, we start off by completing the Stars Will Shine SPC and a couple of other UCL upgrade packs just to uh, see what players we can get from them as we uh, as we discussed in the last one. There's a lot of good players in the Champions League and Europa League obviously that um, are well worth getting. And definitely all the Premier League ones and that would be definitely good upgrade to our squad and if we've got people like Ronaldo obviously and then Messi and that we'd probably look at building um, teams around them so it's worth doing for definite and uh, we do do a, the first that stars will shine gives you free um, that was tradable which you see we make massive profit of uh, off of which will probably be the title of this episode because as you'll see the players we get Definitely, definitely uh, make a lot of money as you'll see coming up here. So this two players pack one is just upgrade ones. These are both untradeable, and uh, unfortunately we do get two Premier League players, two Tottenham players, Aurier and Vaughan, which is nice. But Aurier goes into our team, but then none of them are really, really that special. But uh, this, these are the tradable ones, and that Pishek and Joao Fran, you'll see them sell in a little bit, and uh, they are. Yeah, just make decent, decent coins of them, so that is very nice indeed. And then uh, we have another upgrade pack here. This was very cheap, probably no more than sort of five or six k. And uh, the players you could possibly get in this is just definitely worth it, I think. And uh, you, you'll always get these UCL cards that are usable in SPCs anyway, if they're not good enough that you want to use them in your team. So uh, here we go and open this pack now. And uh, yeah, so two more untradeable ones, French and it's Diallo from the Dortmund and Raggy from Monaco. So both of them not amazing, that Diallo is usable to be honest, so if we ever did end up creating a Bundesliga team, we'd probably fit in there. But yeah, probably not. But then as you'll see here, more one stuff selling. And then you want the Zwan Fran sold for about 7.5k I think, and the Fischek went on buy now for its max price. 15k guys, 15k, just unbelievable. So we made about 22.5k from those two cards alone, which probably, if you take off the cost of the, all the Champions League stuff, we probably still made, I'd say 10k. So very nice indeed. And then this is this week's marquee matchups, which again I think there's two full bronze squads near enough. Which is this one is the Mexican one. We just got the Mexican guys up front. And then a load of bronze players to make up the chemistry around the back of the team. And uh, that's very easy for a premium silver players pack. And then this box going around with Jordan, very cheap again, really. We've got the rounded currently there, uh, Casilla, as you see. A couple of the centre backs from Spain. And then uh, just a load of players that are all the same sort of nations and that to uh, make up the hard green links to get that chemistry and then just a couple of roundies in there to get the, the rare players and the rating up um, and then this one was the Italian league part of the marquee matchups and uh, very easy again we just used we had all the players in the club I believe that we needed to complete the Italian part and then just we sort of fiddled around with it to um, get the rest of the chemistry in the rate well actually no that was exactly the old so we just used gold players in that and then here you go again a two rare players pack and uh, we managed to do this all with bronzes once again so that's just incredible bronze pack method coming up big for us once again it seems to say every episode but that's how much it is uh, useful to do one so can't recommend it enough and uh, yeah we do actually save these packs for the end of the episode now, I believe. Um, but yeah, got a lot of uh, a lot of SBCs coming up now because EA releasing started releasing the scream a little screamer ones for I believe it was two days at a time um, or a day. No, I'm pretty sure it was two days at a time. So we were just doing these as as they come out, sort of thing, depending on what they were and what they, if they were easy enough. So all these gold ones you can use just cheap gold players in doing all them jumbo premium gold pack very nice indeed this one was a bit of an issue actually this slay the dragon one 
because it was weird. On the other consoles, it, it's in a 4 4 1 1 or something, or a different formation. Basically, that right handed striker, when you submit it, it flows into the formation they used on the other consoles. So that had to be a midfielder up there um, and still make the chemistry. It was odd. I went, I, luckily, someone helped me out on Twitter. Um, shout out to who you are. Can't remember your name, sure, at the moment, off the top of my head. But um, yeah, he helped me out and showed me a thread on Reddit. And that helped me out completing that one just in time as well. I got down to like the last few hours before I could complete that. But I managed to get that in there. And then this one is the birds, another one. I had to use a French league silver because that's all we had from Angers, I was believe, or Dijon. And uh, we managed to get that done. So all those packs are safe at the end of the episode now. But then this was a tournament for 3,000 coins and a premium gold players pack or something like that. Unfortunately, first go into it, we do actually lose 7-3 in the first round, crazy game. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to show the goals because that obviously we lost first round. And uh, it would have taken up too much time. And uh, we got a lot of goals in some of these games as it is to take up all the time. But yeah, we got Serge Gnabry goal from this player here to take the lead in the 69th minute. And I was thinking, oh no, this is quite a close game, but not long after, about 10 in-game minutes after, doing some good work down the uh, right-hand side of the box there with Josh King, and he cuts inside, and a nice outside foot finish to take that past the keeper and draw it level. And then uh, working it forward, it's about the 87th minute now. We brought on our subs, again, Bailey, and he was doing a nice bit of dribbling, edge of the box, and finesses that top pins, and uh, the goalie's got no chance, and that was very nice indeed to get that late on. And uh, after this, you shall see, we do actually run it down the wing with uh, Tyson here, plays it to Bailey, and he whips in across, and uh, Josh King leaps like a salmon at the far post and nods that in top pins. We take the 3-1 lead, so it looked a bit more comfortable than it was that game, but nice to come away with a win after we went out first round of the last tournament. But uh, yeah, you'll see the match steps here. I think it was quite a deserved win this one, it's 562 coins, it's quite nice you get a bigger DNF in the tournaments. Yeah we had 5 shots, we had 7 in that so it's fair enough I think. We went up against this guy who's got a very nice 100 chemistry Premier League team. Standouts in there like Rashford, Socrates at the back and all just yeah, very nice team indeed. He had Lingard I believe, but we do start the game off very nicely. And uh, Wilfred Zahar picked up a loose ball that he played around the back in the second minute. We take the lead. And uh, just absolute goal fest this one. So I'm just going to sort of let this play out and uh, you can see for yourself what it ends up being. But I just want to take this to say thank you so much for all the support. It means so much and it's just, just love it. Keep it coming. All the comments and that, I love it. Let me know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram that are in their description with the links and uh yeah just can't thank you enough thanks for the support if you're new make sure you subscribe and uh hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when i put my videos up and uh yeah you can follow me in this series and see how i get on spending no money on fifa ultimate team and seeing how far we can get and uh yeah i'm just playing games doing SBCs and having a good laugh really but uh, yeah, as you see at this point, we're three one up. And uh, at this point, I thought I was cruising really. Play this ball in here to uh, Zahar. He does a nice bit of dribbling. The ERC is bringing his keeper out, so we just play it around him. And uh, take a 4 1 lead in the second, 62nd minute. But then, 72nd minute, he gets a corner, whips that in. We do play it out, and it comes out to Robertson. And he just absolutely bangs it on the far post and I couldn't believe it really, couldn't believe that's gone in, I don't, don't know what your shooting stats are but surely they're not that good for that to fly in, but uh, sometimes that happens in FIFA, what can you do, but then he's working it forward here, not that long after that goal and uh, Lingard doing a nice bit of work and he bangs at him from just outside the box and at this point I was thinking, oh bloody hell he's one goal behind here and uh, this could be dangerous, then luckily we uh we would have made our subs by this point. See Bailey on there to Buena Ventura. He's working it forward, and we're, that somehow he took a shot, and it must have rebounded, but nicked off Trippier to give him an own goal. 
we do got 5 3. And then right in the 89th minute, we're uh, working it forward with Bailey to start off with there. Then it comes to Tyson, loads of little rebounds and blocks and all that. And it falls to Adama and he just plays it in in the end. So that was nice to get a goal. And that really, really tied the game off in the 90th minute to make it 6 3. Massive high scoring game with nine goals in it. It's crazy somehow we like go from that game in the first round, 2 1 or 3 1, should I say, late on, and then suddenly you get a 6 3 game. It's just crazy. But this guy in the semi finals now, this would have been, as you see there, he's got a nice, solid Premier League um, midfield defence. And up front, he had, uh, what was it, Lone Felipe Anderson, I believe, the ones to watch in form version, uh, Lone Europa League. Bamiang that was and a loan uh, player of the month Lucas so potent potent attack and I was thinking oh no and it did actually take the lead in the second minute so I was just full we're in trouble here we we're doing some nice work with uh, Gigi Y Naldon on the edge of the box decent dribbling we've seen a couple of goals like that from him now in the series and uh, he finishes that past his keeper in the 60 second minute to draw it level then into that 85th minute now obviously we've got our subs from again indeed he working forward here into Tyson I see he's bringing his keeper out so we just step to the side of it and uh, finish that round and that was very nice indeed to take the lead in the 87th minute again so that is the like the first game we took a late lead after a bit of a comeback and uh, that was giving me good confidence going into the final nice nice amount of 601 coins as I say, it's weird that you get a different DNF in tournaments to seasons. Maybe it's because they don't want you getting all the points from seasons and with the bonuses as well. But I don't see why it would change really. Sure, you just keep it the same for, for across the board. But yeah, what can you do? But this is the final now. And this guy, 25th minute, had a, uh, a very good team with some nice UCL players in. And uh, his UCL, Gabriel Jesus, run through my defence there and uh, banged it near post which I was a bit gutted about against Guita but um, yeah sometimes it's just I don't know whether that's the goal he's fought or not really I suppose it is but it's just one of them annoying things in FIFA that they do fly in from every now and again but we do actually pull it back level and uh, going right to the end of the game 91st minute added time on, on normal time and Tyson miss, misses an absolute sitter I put that in there even though it was a miss just to show you how close we were to winning and then again guys it was one all in extra time and Ramsey just played that against the keeper and then we, it went to penalties and this is where unfortunately you'll see this guy did win on penalties so fair play to him he stuck in it somehow all the way to penalties and he won in the end but I was just gutted we had those two one on ones with the goalies one we missed with Tyson, and one we just played straight at the goalie with Ramsey, but oh, I was gutted. 3,000 coins we've got, and a premium goal players pack to add to our little pack open part at the end of the episode, but fair play to the guy. Can't take anything away from him, really. It was just awful we didn't put those chances in. But yeah, it doesn't make it any easier to take that loss, I'll tell you that. You see those match stats there. To be fair, he had a lot more shots, but they were quite speculative shots, that's for sure. But yeah, it is what it is as we tow as we go, sorry, into the packs now. Start off with this um, Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. And uh, nothing outstanding really, but here's a duplicate that we do sell eventually. And uh, yeah, all of these packs, I haven't worked it out exactly, but for definite we've made just from assets alone, as you see we get a tradable Sammy Kadira there who goes for about 10k. We do store into the club for future SBCs because 10k is not really going to help me too much at the minute but that's a great pull that is that's made up a lot of those SBCs there probably at least two of them just with him and then all these gold players are just all amazing for SBCs and uh, sellables or whatever depending on what stuff comes out and when they're useful when their uh, optimum value is available as we just keep plodding along with these we get Nelson Semedo I haven't actually checked what he's worth but I can imagine he's worth a couple of K or something like that very nice player to get if we do ever uh, need a Barcelona player again 
like this marking matchups or create a La Liga team. But we do pick up an 83 rated Premier League Kepa there as well. Very nice for SBCs. And um, I did look at putting him in the team, but he's not really any better. He's got a better than overall rating, but he's not really, if you actually look at his stats, he's not really any better than Gita. So I've just left him in there. So, um, yeah, that's what I decided to do. But then all these players, again, look at that. I think all of these would sell probably for about 500 coins if we were to sell them now or even up to a thousand maybe even more when they're uh, actually usable so it's just it's just coins 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 we get a bigger rich there that we send into the club all of these again all these contracts all these uh, fitness that we sell as per usual the uh, position modifiers we send to the club the chemistry style we end up selling uh, that duplicate stock over we end up selling all that discard because it is worthless in terms of selling it and then we come down to the last pack which is a premium something or other just another premium uh, players pack I believe that is we pick up a Viviano and a Butland though Shane Butland is in the championship this year but yeah what can you do and that is it for the packs guys so nothing amazing but just as a lot of the packs we've had in this series so far just bolstering that club and uh, yeah just making it a lot easier for us to do SBCs in the future but we're just showing you a load of stuff now selling and uh, yeah basically just want to say again thanks for all the support make sure you hit the like, like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification to get the uh, notification when my videos go live just thank you for all the support make sure you keep doing it hit me up on Twitter hit me up on Instagram and uh, yeah make sure you're doing a bronze if you look at all these fitness cards selling but uh, yeah, that's about it for this episode, guys. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.